So, the long awaited third person shooter beta. Now, let's explain a little bit what this is because, you know, if you're following along with my channel, you've seen a third person shooter, you've seen a third person shooter Redux, and now we are going to see a third person shooter beta and also I have an advanced third person controller and climb system and you know there is a lot of controllers as you might imagine now what this uh, specifically is is basically the continuation of where we left off from our third person shooter redux which was this part 16 okay we were doing some other stuff however this even though it's based off the third person shooter Redux, it's a complete new series, which uh, it takes everything we've seen and everything, uh, most of the features we have on the third person shooter Redux, and we're bringing them inside a beta stage. And what that means is basically we are polishing it into, uh, moving one step closer into being a complete game. Uh, with that said, that means that uh, the third person shooter Redux is not exactly obsolete so you can still watch the videos and you should watch the videos because a lot of the concepts we're going to take are directly from there, especially with the weapon system and if you watch them or if you have watched them before it will make it more clear why we are doing uh, stuff this way as uh, you will see them in this one okay because they might seem a little bit over complicated at first but if you have following along then this is the exactly next uh, logical step to it okay because you can imagine that i've been making a third person shooter for around three years now so i have a lot of feedback and i have i know exactly where people have problems with and what to improve and this is where we are going to do it in the third person shooter beta so as i said give them a watch they are not uh, that much needed because we're going to explain uh, a lot of it over here too however uh, yeah i still suggest that you give them a watch you know give them a casual watch just have them playing on the background or something like that Okay, your main focus will be this one. Now, there is also the advanced third person controller, which is this. Okay, and this project and this project, they kind of have kind of the same base. However, they are not the same. So the controller is still using the nice trick I did in the advanced third person controller, which has the capsule collider elevated from the ground it's still going to use a little bit of the code that goes with climbing and vaulting but it's not going to use the same way it's not going to be moving the same way the third person controller was moving and the major difference you will notice right away is that this controller is basically camera based uh, which serves for having a more uh, better experience when we are going to go on multiplayer think of it like uh, you know if you played uh, ghost recon something like that i had my uh, the phantoms the one that is now dead okay i had something like that in mind and you can see the obvious reference to that is uh, that now we have uh, buttons that prompt you what to do okay if you want to vault or take out and we can do both we can also have iron sights okay crowds and as for crowds i just want to make clear that when we are aiming we're also going to stand up because i didn't have a good uh, crowds and strafe animation okay and you can see right away you can see what i mean by being camera based there is still vaulting but it now needs a prompt you can still cover and then vault and I'm going to go into cover and I'm going to hit reload and watch his hands okay 
you can see that it pops the other magazine, has another magazine on his hand and stuff like that. And to work all this, I actually have created utilities to be the easiest thing to make all this. So you can see how to set up a new weapon and how to set up stuff like that into the video uh, below. I'm going to make those av available right now so you're going to see two or three videos available for this. And the other thing is that we actually have an objective uh, framework. So if I go over here, okay, you can see a right uh, left up. Okay, object complete. Now shoot the targets. And if we shoot the targets, we can continue. There is also checkpoint. So I can go back to menu. And when I come back, I'm going to load from that uh, checkpoint. And all that is based off a framework, which we're going to see in the future on how we can set up new weapons. Okay, so that's it. Uh, as always, focus on understanding the concepts instead of typing along with uh, my videos because it's more important to understand what I'm doing and then you can write it with your own words, you know, as they said in school. Okay, rather than just trying to type along with me. This is very advanced project. Just uh, I'm making that clear. Okay, if you have problems, it's probably because you lack a little bit of the fundamentals. It's not a problem. But again, as I said, try to focus on understanding the concepts instead of trying to type along with me. I cannot stress enough how important that is. Okay, and yeah, make sure you know your fundamentals and you are familiar with them. Okay, if you do not know if you are uh, at the level to be able to follow this, then a good uh, check to see if you are ready is if you go into this page. Of course, this is the actual official uh, tutorials about scripting and you should have already done beginner and intermediate gameplay scripting okay and you should also be able to just say what all these are with just looking at the at the titles okay of course obviously some stuff yeah you can uh, guess and yeah you won't even need all of this but it's I just have it as my, you know, my to go or yeah, because basically everything I'm doing is inside over here. Now, of course, there might be some exceptions, but everything I'm doing in the channel, you won't see something that is not covered in here. Okay. And of course, these are type along videos. So if that's your thing, then uh, by all means uh, do them. Okay, now there are other ways to learn. I'm going to be a bit cautious about them because, yeah, a lot of uh, other places lack the structure. At least this has a logical structure because you cannot jump from the if statements to, you know, coordinates because uh, you are just overcomplicating without any uh, real reason. Okay, so. I believe this is the best structure that you are able to learn if you do not know already. Okay, and I'm making this clear because this is, as I said, a very advanced project. And you can see that uh, just by part two and part one even, we're going to do and dive in deep into some of the not so fancy videos because this has to do a lot with uh, databases and lists okay project also has to do with the editor and uh, navigating scenes inside the editor without touching anything okay and user interface will have to do with uh, all the all the nice stuff we have crosshair objectives radars and all that so again this is a very advanced project make sure you have your fundamentals and by the end of this you are pretty much have made a game so 
move on to the next part, preferably part one, or better yet, the how to set up a new weapon first. And because this is not uh, exactly an introduction, this is only a how to, but you will learn a lot of stuff on how the system will work. And I think part uh, four or part five will actually be the weapon system. I haven't yet recorded it. Okay, so I'll see you on the next one.